When I was younger, right? When I was growing up, I grew up on Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, Sylvester Stallone movies, a lot of mafia movies, a lot of Disney movies. I never once thought, let's say, while I was watching Lord of the Rings when I was a kid, I never thought, you know what? You know what would make Lord of the Rings even better? If they had some black people in it. I'm not enjoying a lot of the rings right now. I'm not enjoying it because I, I I don't see myself. I need to see a black person in every single movie in order for me to enjoy it. If I'd said that when I was a kid, my parents and everyone around me would have looked at me like, you have lost your mind, haven't you? <laughs> You're going crazy, man. They think as black people or as a person of color, I hate that term, POC, jeez. They think as a quote unquote POC, that for you to be able to relate to any character in the movie, they have to be, they have to be the same color as you. That's how myopic these people are. The reason why you relate to a character in a movie, it's not because they have the same color as you or some nonsense like that. Is because of a shared human experience. I could relate to Aragon in Lord of the Rings. I could relate to Frodo or Gandalf. In whichever movie I was watching, hell, in Hairspray, I could relate. <laughs> I could relate to John Travolta in, ha in Hairspray. The shared human experience it didn't have to be the same color as me. <laughs> this is madness. This is madness. We're living in the upside down, people. We are living in the upside down. If you're wondering to yourself, why do movies suck nowadays? Why, why are movies so crap nowadays? It's because people have substituted creativity for wokeness. Before, when you go and pitch a movie, they want to know the storyline of the movie who's the protagonist where is this going where's the progression of the storyline that was the key thing they wanted to know back then before your movie was made the story how does it grip the audience but now the first thing they say when you go pitch a movie they're like all right where are the quarters like quarters yeah where are the quarters have you met the diversity quarter because you have to have a black representation in there you have to have an lgbt mnlp uh representation in there you have to have a little transgender media in there they all have to be in there if you if you're like well i didn't write any part for these people in there they're like well who is your main character who's what's the description for main character all right uh, we're just going to change this and change this and change that and change this. So they, they swap things all around in there to try to please a very tiny amount of people that they miss out on the big picture, which is the story. No one gives an F if you make Aria from the Little Mermaid black. No one cares. Black people do not care. Black people do not care. Never in my life, in my recent years, have I seen any black person. Like I see black people every day. <laughs> Never have we ever had a conversation there. You know what's going to make our life a lot better now? It's not police reform. It's not letting the brothers out of the prisons that were locked up for like non-violent offenses. That were taken away from their wives and kids. Letting the kids to be raised up by the streets. And now they're out here going crazy killing each other. That's not the biggest problem right now. Nah, 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 nah. Do you know what would make our life even better as a people, as a community? <sighs> it's if we make the fairy from Pinocchio a black woman. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho. Woo. that'll be a giant leap for us. One step for, my, for mankind and a giant leap for black people. Oh, ho, ho. make the fairy from Pinocchio black and bald. Black and bald. She has to be bald. Just black is not enough. She must be bald. Oh, yes. Ooh, that's progressive. Wait till they see that one. And you know what? Oh, this is the ace. This is the ace right here. We're going to hit, we're gonna hit a, a, a home run with this one. Whoa, tell me, tell me, what is it? 
we're gonna make Ariel black. Ariel from the Little Mermaid. Yes, yes, we're gonna make her black. All oh, black people are going to love this. It's gonna make black people's life better. Oh yes. We know what's good for black people. Don't we? Yeah, of course we know what's good for black people. Yes, we're strong allies. Oh yes, we are. <laughs> this is how their minds work. These people are crazy. <laughs> These people are crazy. People are locked up in jail right now, doing crazy, crazy amount of years for selling weed. And now weed is legal. And they're still locked up there. Lives ruined. What about those people over there? What about prison reform, Disney? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> no, no, just let's slow down here now. You're going too far with that now. Come on now, slow down, man. We've got shares in the private prisons. Don't go there. Come on now. We've made Ariel black. Just, just accept that and sh shut the hell up. Move on. <laughs> Bunch of black men are locked up in prison for non-violent crimes. And, you know, they've got family and, and kids out here that could be help helping raise and hey, wait, 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 stop it, stop it. I don't want to hear that no more. Ariel's black. Focus on that, all right? Don't be ungrateful. Why are you complaining too much? I've made Ariel black for you. Take a mop and bucket. Go, 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 go mop the floor or something. <laughs> God. Another day in the Matrix.